Hello, Dolly friends. It is Gina, and I am here with Little Midwest Reborns and Dolls. I hope you had a wonderful Saturday and a wonderful day today. It is late afternoon here. Um, I have had a wonderful weekend, and in a nutshell, I spent the weekend with my sister-in-law, who lives about 40 minutes from me, and we went out for dinner last night. We went back to the house. We sat and talked. It. We just had a lot of fun. Great weekend. Then today we're all sports fans, so we watched a football game together. We watched the New Orleans Saints play the Green Bay Packers, and it looked like for sure the Packers were going to lose, and my sister-in-law and I were both rooting for Green Bay and my brother-in-law was rooting for the New Orleans Saints and guess what the Green Bay Packers won by one point the score was 17 to 18 or 18 to 17 and Green Bay won yay it was fun it was fun so at any rate today is Sunday and oh and they spoiled me rotten because I was teasing them this morning and said I wanted um, a gourmet breakfast. So they fixed me coffee, they fixed me eggs, and they made like these whole wheat organic gluten-free pancakes that tasted fantastic because they used um, homemade almond, almond butter and almond milk in the pancakes to mix the batter. I mean, it's, it was, and it gave it like a nutty flavor. It was really good, really good. Anyway, you're probably more interested in seeing the baby than hearing about my weekend. So I am going to show you which baby I am featuring today for Sleepy Baby Sunday. And here is my gorgeous girl. This is my Alyssa Inez. And I am going to go ahead and change her. Let me show you what I'm going to change her into. I had a sweet friend who sent me a little happy mail. I did not open it on camera. It was our wonderful and dear friend, Karen from Follow Your Dreams Nursery. And I received this, I, I received some socks. It was, there was two pair in the packages. The other pair is just a white, but I thought I'd show you the socks. I received this package of hair bows, including this one, which that's the one that I will actually be putting on Alyssa's head today, and the piece of resistance. I received this gorgeous little H&M newborn dress, and it has the Peter Pan color and it's a it's a cream colored and it's got little bitty tiny dusty rose a kind of a deep red and a um like like a darker pink and little tiny green flowers on it it is gorgeous and pleated and it even has the attached which i love the attached bottoms underneath so um, I am going to be changing Alyssa into this dress and we will be adding the headband and the socks. So that's what we are going to be doing today. So how was your weekend? Um, it is officially fall now. The calendar says it is fall. However, now this is what I would classify as an Indian summer because the calendar says it is fall and we had cooler weather a little bit before this and now that it is officially fall it got up to 87 today and yesterday and all week it is supposed to be in the high 80s possibly up to 90 so we're gonna have to we're gonna have we're gonna fix your hair little girl we're gonna fix your hair my sweet little girl my sweet little Alyssa yeah mommy's gonna fix it don't you worry we gotta put this dress on you Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Mommy, I think mm, it, it snaps in the back. Oh, 
we've got a we've got a button and then two snaps okay so let's try going putting this on you from the bottom and going up and guys I want to ask you what type of bear is toothless a gummy bear <laughs> so that's my joke for the day and I hope you enjoyed it but I think that's kind of cute that's what I need to do is well of course that might be hard for my my little grandson we, we, we need to teach him try to teach him a little a little Halloween joke for if he goes trick-or-treating or anything but I don't know um, so I don't know I mean those kind of, that would be fine but I feel like that's too much to remember at his age of course they're like little sponges at that age and they remember everything so at least you know in the moment if you you know like I, I asked my sister-in-law and my brother-in-law to uh, today when we were just kind of sitting around talking I said at what age do you have like real true memories like where you went on a vacation or played outside or and they both said probably around four or five, probably five. And I said, I actually have one memory from when I was three, but I would say more four and five. Um, but, you know, I, uh, so I feel like, you know, when you're, st when you're just two, you know things and you're learning and all of that, but you don't have, you, you have short-term memory, but not necessarily long-term. So, because like my daughter had asked me if, when mom, when would be a good time to take um, her son to, when do you think we should take him to like uh, Disney World? And I said, well, honey, Disney World is like really expensive. And she said, yeah, I know. And I, I said, I would not take him until you know for sure he's going to remember it. I would take him when he's six or seven and then go to the Magic Kingdom. But prior to that, you know, unless you lived there and could get passes, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take him because the tickets are so darn high. Okay, so we've got your little socks on. Now I'm going to put this headband on your little head, my dear Alyssa. Let's see this. Let's see this pretty girl. Whoops, mommy. Mommy, mommy. Say, oh, mommy, what are you doing to me? Say, oh, mommy. Oh, mommy, what are you doing to me? My goodness, mommy. My goodness, mommy. And there you have my most precious. Alyssa and her little bear, Cubby. Hi, I'm a bear. My name's Cubby, but I have teeth because I'm not a gummy bear. Okay, guys, that's about it. I want to show you Alyssa all in her dress. There she is. Gorgeous. She looks gorgeous. And she's got Cubby. And um, yeah. I think this is about it, guys. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by today and spending some of your Sunday evening with me. I wish you a very blessed and good week. Remember, no matter what you're going through, God loves you and he's always there for you. Bye-bye, my friends.